Hey, this is Jeff, Georgia Fire Rescue Supply. We're going to take a little more in-depth look now at the uh, struts from Rescue 42, the Telecrib struts, and look at a few different applications that can be done with these particular struts. So, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Okay, here we're going to stabilize the uh, undercarriage of the vehicle using one strut and one ratchet strap. So here we take a anchor uh, for one of the ends of the ratchet strap and attach it to the vehicle itself by use of a hook, hook cluster. Now we establish an anchor at the other end of the car. Now we'll take up the slack and uh, use the ratchet to, to uh, tension the system. Here the head is uh, resting on the unibody and holding the vehicle onto the head of the strut. Now we have the load captured and we're ready to move on. Hey, this is Jeff again. So uh, these multitude of ways that you can stabilize a vehicle. This undercarriage of the vehicle has uh, just got one of many different techniques that can be used to stabilize it with the Rescue 42 strut. So now what we do is go to the other side of the vehicle and uh, take a look at uh, some ways that we could uh, capture load uh, for the other side. So what we're going to take a look at is uh, this vehicle with it here being in a position that it's in. Uh, we're going to stabilize it in such a way as if the occupants were in here and part of the roof structure is going to have to be removed in order for us to get the proper access to all the occupants to have them extricated out of this particular vehicle. We're locating the anchor for one of the struts to be at the front end of the vehicle. We're going to extend the uh, strut and place it. We're trying to get this between a 45 degree and 70 degree angle depending on the terrain and the actual crash itself. As uh, here you see we're also placing the pins. We're going to do a single pin on this vehicle. It's kind of a light load that we're trying to stabilize. So we're going to put one pin in each one of these sections. Now we put the ratchet strap into place and take the slack out and then tension it to create that tension buttress. And one point is a lot when I get it tensioned is to try to get the extra slack of the webbing put out of the way so that it's not going to be a trip hazard for the people that's actually working the scene. Now we'll make a little access point for our third strut to have a good foundation to place the head. Here we're extending the strut, setting the angle, and go ahead and putting the pins in once we get it extended to the proper length. Here we're going to run the strap underneath the vehicle and find an anchor point on the opposite side and then tension it. So we're using the hole in the unibody to hook the uh, strap to and then we'll tension it from here. Now that we have the anchors established for both ends, we'll take up the slack, feed it through the ratchet, then ratchet this to tension the system and uh, have it set to hold the load. Now the load of the vehicle is sitting on all three of these struts and the stabilization is complete. So this is just one of several techniques that we can use with the uh, telecribbing struts from Rescue 42. We have three points of stabilization and we have it opened up where the roof structure can be removed so that we can extricate the occupants. Let's look at the other side and uh, see what that looks like. So here we got, uh, looking at the under view of the vehicle after we got done stabilizing it, 
you'll see that we caught us an anchor point here for the opposite side of the car for the strut that's in that trunk area. And then the first strut that we put into place we have here. So you see just, just a, an example of one of several ways that we could stabilize a car that's on its side with the Rescue 42 equipment. So if you, you know, the, the thing is there's literally lots and lots of options and lots of versions of ways that this could be done. So this particular kit, Rescue 42, is one that we offer. We have several configurations of how these kits are put together. So let's take a look one more time around the vehicle to get a, a better view of how we've got this thing stabilized. Stabilization is now complete. So if you'd like more information on Rescue 42 Telecrib and Struts, or if you would like to get a demonstration scheduled for your department, give us a call. Number's on the screen, 866-479-5495, or on the web, georgiafirerescue.com, and check us out on Facebook. And remember, we're a group of firefighters serving firefighters. Thanks for watching this video on Rescue 42 products.